Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com in today's lesson of the day. In our last lesson we looked at the existing home sales number and what this tells us about not only the housing market but about the economy as a whole. In today's lesson we're going to look at an indicator which is a survey of consumer opinion on the economy which tends to lead the business cycle by several months uh, called the Consumer Confidence Index. So let's get started. Okay, so the, the Consumer Confidence Index is released at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the last Tuesday of each month. Uh, and this, uh, this number is a monthly survey of over 5,000 households, the purpose of which is to gauge the financial health, uh, spending power, and confidence of the average consumer. The Consumer Confidence Index contains three separate headline numbers, which are uh, the Index of Consumer Sentiment, or in other words, how people feel about their current financial conditions, uh, the uh, Current Economic Conditions number, uh, how people feel about current economic uh, conditions in general, uh, and then number three here, the index of consumer expectations, which is how people foresee things are going to be six, in six months' time. Uh, so the difference here, the third one should be pretty obvious, uh, but the difference between the first and the second here is that um, uh, the, a lot of times people will be doing well themselves, so they feel fine about their current financial uh, situation, but they they feel that the overall economy or other people that they know, um, you know, are not doing so well, and so that's uh, you know that's the difference between those two, which there's sometimes some confusion there. Okay, the consumer is going to normally adjust spending habits based on how optimistic or pessimistic they are about the economy. Um, so they're going to pull back when they feel you know things are souring to save more or vice versa. So you know you can see here we have some optimism, uh, and you're going to see consumer spending normally rise as a result of that optimism. Uh, and if you have pessimism, you're going to see consumer spending normally fall as a result of that. Okay. And as we've learned in, in previous lessons, as you know, private consumption and consumer spending is such a large part of the economy. Uh, you know, and and because this indicates gives a good insight into this segment you know it's it's closely watched by market participants and can be you know very market moving especially if it comes in a, you know off expectations um, it's important to understand here however that this is a survey based on people's opinion and unlike most of the other indicators we've studied up to this point the individual surveyed are not likely basing their opinions on hard data um, it's for this reason that consumer opinion can be easily swayed by things such as short-term spikes in gas prices, uh, you know, and why most market participants will use a three to six month moving average of the data to get a better picture of the trends in consumer thinking because this number can be fairly volatile depending on what's happening uh, in the short term. So. As with uh, the other leading indicators we've studied, that, you know, thus far the consumer confidence index, or sorry, the consumer sentiment index component, which is the leading uh, component of the, of this indicator, um, you know, is uh, is you know because that's leading, it makes it all that much more important uh, to the market. Okay, so also as with all the other indicators that we've studied up to this point. The best way to get a feel for how the market's going to react to this number under different scenarios is to follow the indicator in real time. So with this in mind, uh, as with the other indicators as well, I'm going to be posting a discussion piece in the comments section of this lesson on informedtrades.com, a link to which you're going to be able to find in the description section of this video if you're watching it on YouTube. Okay, I've also included a link to the latest release just below this video if you're watching on informedtrades.com or in the description section there as well if you're watching on YouTube. YouTube, okay, so that's our lesson for today. In our next lesson, we're going to wrap up our discussion on economic indicators. We're just going to close up this section of uh, fundamental analysis with a look at the conference board's index of leading economic indicators. So definitely check that one out because this one combines a bunch of the stuff that we've learned up to this point. Uh, on the indicator side of things into one indicator. So it's a pretty interesting one. Uh, so we hope to see you in that lesson. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them in the comments section below. And good luck with your trading.